Gentlemen, we do not stop till nightfall. What about breakfast? We've already had it. We've had one, yes. What about second breakfast? Um, you've got your documents all there in the sense of uh, what you're going to say to start off with and, and notes about uh, what needs to be evidence, etc. No, not the evidence bit. I'm no, 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 but you're going to say we're going to hand up the yeah. evidence. Yeah. Yep. And you've also made a note that, um, that, that you've made a Gipper application, just yeah. to forewarn them on that, uh, and, uh, and that you're relying upon the submissions. The and if there's anything inconsistent with the submissions, you might say, uh, in a moment of passion, uh, uh, then you're, you're relying upon what's in, in, the, in the submissions. We have to present our case. So our case is you saying what you want to say, tendering your evidence, and what I suggest you do, I've got one of these for Montgomery, and uh, I've also got loose leaf documents clipped that uh, have got a schedule, that uh, list on the top of it, so that you can hand those document, documents up as the documents you're tendering in court, and you're ha handing this up to him as a means for him to readily access not only the evidence but your, your submissions. And what we do is we'll give the other side a copy of the loose leaf documents. But, but that all, makes sense? But they're all documents that they've already got, aren't they? Most, not all of them, no, no. Because I'm tendering the Quarry Dictionary, I'm tendering uh, the document you put in, uh, well, well, Phil put in, about searching, I'm putting in a number of things that they may not tender, they may not hand up. In other words, unless we have the evidence there, it, it won't be there. And so your submissions can't be made. So that's why the evidence is important. That's why you've got to, you've got to stick that in. I think you're enjoying this breakfast, Phil. Always do. <laughs> the point that we're making last time today and later on today if we have to is that there's only one person who's been identified in any of the cases that have come up dealing with 21 and 22 uh, three of them in the past they have never produced anybody out of the task force who actually knows what they were what actually happened and that can't be by accident it's by design frankly and we're trying to to get to the court the best evidence we can whatever it says, frankly, um, and that's what we're seeking to do and in, in, in the public interest. So we, we won't do it now, but when we get up to the court, I, I suggest we actually leave it about half past so that we're up there and get in and work out how much room there is, get my documents out, all that kind of stuff. Um, I think that we have found out in this proceedings to date a lot of what's gone on in relation to pit water. And to put it very bluntly, it was disgraceful what's happened at Pitwater. You should never have been amalgamated, and the documents that we've got out of this Gipper actually prove that. If they ever had have hit the light of day in court, I can tell you, you would not have been amalgamated. There's dynamite in these documents, no doubt about that. They say, oh no, waiver doesn't apply to, to this section of Gipper. You know, this is cabinet information. Um, can't be waived, etc. Uh, the waiver talks about legal professional privilege and not cabinet documents in the Act. There's a little section, two sections dealing with waiver, and therefore um, it doesn't doesn't apply. What bullshit! What did Gladys do the other day uh, in relation to two stadiums? She got up and she waived the business case. The difference today is that for the first time. Cabinet was able to consider those business cases and those business cases will be made available to the public. In fact, I think they're online now. 47 documents have been served on us with Cabinet in confidence on them. All, all subject to that provision of Cabinet information in GIPA. All secret documents. You know, we've given, been given 47 of them. What's that? Is that a mistake or is it waiver? What's their answer to that? That's what waiver is. You can waive contract clauses, rights of tort, privileges. You can do it either uh, expressly by saying, I'm going to release, I'm going to re release the business case. 
says Gladys. Two of them? That's waiver. Well, you can do it inadvertently or you can do it without knowing. You can do it because you're stupid. And that's exactly what they did. They released KPMG documents with references saying, here's the document where you get your information. Then somebody afterwards said, whoops. Oh, we don't want that to get out, do we? That's embarrassing. So we're going to claim privilege too late. The difference today is that we've listened to the community, but most importantly, we've done our homework. Two things the government doesn't do. It doesn't do its homework and it trips over itself because it's got so many people trying to fulfil what they think the government wants. The government doesn't know what it wants. So somebody gives you documents, other people say, no, we're not going to give you documents. Some people say, we're going to do this. Somebody else says, no, we can't do that. Um, mate, it's, it's uh, government in this state is a shambles. As we head off to this court, I, I'm reminded of the Arab saying, never stand behind a horse or in front of a judge. <laughs> <laughs> you never know where it's going to kick, do you? In the morning session, two witnesses for the Crown gave evidence and were cross-examined by Walker. One gave confidential evidence, which Walker was excluded from. I don't think he knows about second breakfast, Pip. What about elevensies? Luncheon, afternoon tea, dinner, supper. He knows about them, doesn't he? I wouldn't count on it. I actually think that you went really well. Uh, and uh, that what came out of it was that they had done their scope and they were still thinking of this case as being uh, all about final reports and official reports, etc. When that's just not so. And, uh, and that the scope, and in fact Montgomery has made it clear that he's going to decide this case on the scope as, uh, as he feels it is. So Phil, I think, I think it went well this morning. I thought you were brilliant. Oh. I think you should have done law. And, uh, I think what's come out of it is that uh, these searches now are clearly seen to be inadequate, frankly, and uh, that side of it, I think, is looking pretty good. I think in relation to the legal side of it, I, I still have always believed that waiver is the key in this, and I like the way Montgomery came in and said to uh, the barrister on the other side, no, but waiver is being raised in these cases. And uh, I think that that means that uh, that we're in with a show on that and I, I do need extra time to put the submissions in so we have to argue that point. Then we're going to tender the, the uh, documents yeah. at that stage, that's next. We're going to uh, reinforce the fact that, that the Gipper application you've taken in that one pager is being tendered in this. This is the separate uh, Gipper application. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, but is being tendered because you're saying that those documents in there are within the scope of this application um, and uh, you want to put on extra submissions. So I want to deal with some of the evidence today about the searches, how, how clearly the evidence has shown that the searches have failed, that they haven't done searches within scope. I mean, you can say these things yourself on, on scope if you want to, right. but, but the searches have failed, that what we've done is reasonable and what we're seeking is orders that, that they do it properly frankly. You've had also about 47 documents that you've been served with, right? All of them got cabinet in confidence on them. They've released them to you. What's that called? That's not waiver. They could have said no, like they did in Richards. No, we're not going to give you any of these documents. They're all cabinet in confidence. They've waived the cabinet in confidence. That's what waiver's all about. They've already done it in your case. And Gladys, by by getting up and saying uh, she's going to give the uh, business cases, uh, has already waived the privilege in relation to the two stadiums. And those business cases will be made available to the public. In fact, I think they're online now. They have proved our case as to what waiver is. During the afternoon session, Walker tendered a number of documents into evidence, including Phil Jenkins' affidavit, some of the KPMG documents that had been public, and two definitions from the Macquarie Dictionary. We have a new barrister uh, who's uh, about to be appointed today, and that's Philip Walker, who performed, uh, performed for the public uh, and did us all proud, frankly. I think that uh, 
I can say that while he's not here next to me. Um, he did us all proud. So whatever, whatever may be the outcome. The questions got out, uh, some of them were Dorothy Dixer questions and just general questions, but they, they got out the, the basic inadequacy of their search, which is what we were trying to do, and honed in on some of the uh, real uh, documents that needed to be produced. I think you ran, ran the thing better, uh, frankly, by doing what you did. And you asked the questions really well, and we were able to, to elucidate exactly what you were wanting to do from that. And in relation to the legal side of things, we'll work on that together, as we have, and to make sure that what goes in is absolutely what you want to go in on your behalf. And, uh, mate, I, I think, you know, I was a bit concerned, I must have been when I was coming in on the ferry this morning, I was thinking to myself, I wonder what's going to come on today, how it's going to run. I give it nine out of 10. And I was thinking if we got to four or five out of 10, I would have been happy. But I reckon it ran as nine out of 10, in which case it can be honestly said, we've done the best for the community that's, that we could have. And can I say it's 100% better than anybody else has done. If we don't get up, it's because of the very high bar set by Gipper in getting cabinet documents very high bar and uh, I think uh, you know we've given it we've given it a good shake and there's a lot of documents that have come out during the running of this especially in relation to pit water there's now a whole lot of documents in relation to pit water from the original April uh, uh, KPMG long document about a hundred pages or more whatever it is uh, done by uh, pit water and manly to one we didn't know about and that was that July analysis option analysis document done on Greater Pitwater, but also for the Northern Beaches, for the Northern Beaches with its figures. Then you've got KPMG again uh, for the Greater Pitwater, the, the proposal that you guys got in January uh, of uh, 2016. And then you've got the delegate, I think, going behind everybody's back and getting the department to go back to KPMG on the basis that they've never had anything to do with the Northern Beaches before and get another report out of the KPMG. Which we don't have a copy of. of no, it's up on the website. It's it definitely is. up on the website. But I don't think any residents of, of Pitwater got that document. The first you would have known is when the delegates report came out and said, oh, I didn't have any KPMG documents. Therefore, I just went and got one. And I think that, if that's so, if you people did not know when you're making your submissions for the Northern Beaches that the delegate had gone to KPMG, then if I could just brutally summarise that, that is outrageous. Outrageous. And in my view, if it had been known, you would have been in court to actually set aside what was happening against you. But of course, you didn't know, in a sense, until that came out, and at that stage, the delegates had come out and the minister then acted on it. So, we, we, mate, we, Pitwater's been dotted. We were told, with our merger with Greater Warringah, that, that we were going to get a savings over a 20-year forward yeah. projection yep. of one cup of coffee per yeah. household yeah. per yeah. week. Yeah. Yeah. Now, already since merging, Mandy's got a $75 million claim for the Worcester Street car park debacle. Uh, we've got the East Coast Low where the, the, um, where the sea wall's got to be rebuilt. At There's a hundred million bucks gone already. Yep. So much for our, our cup of coffee. The, and the government has used that cup of coffee as a justification to, to destroy, destroy people.